Scotland against Austria. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, David Alaba, one of the most versatile players out there. He's just got so much positional awareness and intelligence, he can basically do a job anywhere on this pitch. He's got fabulous technique too, especially with his delivery in and around the area. He'll be eyeing up any set plays the opposition concede in that defensive third. Look at the shoots! Prudel. And it's Bergstahler. Aimed long and direct. Lazzaro. Snodgrass. Now he's wondering who wants it. Shot at goal! Just off target. Ah, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. And that's a throw in. Griffiths. No, it's not Snodgrass! Tries to dink it in. That intervention. Goes for goal! Goal! Scotland! And Scotland are in front! What about that, Jim Beglin? Well, I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defence for allowing him to get into such a good position. Scotland take the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. To throw in. Morrison coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. A oh, sweet feet from him there. Snodgrass. He's left his man. Has a pop. What about it? And already they're looking to run away with it. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Scotland take a two-goal lead, and things should become... It's going to be the final action of the first half. Some first half thoughts? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Scotland sitting pretty here at half time, 2 0 up. So we're just settling back into this second half. Harnick. Harnick into opposition territory. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Mm, I thought he might just get the benefit of any doubt then. And it's Alaba. Richie is being picked on here. 
Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. Passes it through. That looks a good ball. Cross deflected behind for a corner. In for a header! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Arnautovic. And it's Bergstahler. Real chance to break. Yunusovic. Scotland haven't made a substitution yet. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Yunusovic. Richie tries a pass forward. Looking to break out here. And now they can launch a counter. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. <laughs> it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. They are rampant! And they are pulling clear here. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Morrison. And that's it. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Scotland can certainly...